Hey guys, this is Hell Hades. This is a Raid Shadow Legends video. Guys, I'm super psyched. My new branding has gone live on my YouTube channel, on the website, on the Discord. Uh, let me know what you think below. Uh, but I am super happy with what we've managed to do in the end. So, new branding's live, and then we've got this new event from Raid. Guess what it is? Another summoning event. So, look, we're due to have a two-time sacred this weekend. That is coming but they're throwing in a champion alongside it. So from Friday, there's going to be a two times chance to get legendary champions from Sacreds. There's also going to be a summon rush going on for the current fusion. So a lot of people are going to be pulling shards if they manage to keep hold of some in the last week anyway. Uh, is it a summon rush? No, not summon rush. It's going to be a champion chase. It's slightly different because champion chase, you can actually, um, you can actually summon champions that you've held on to from here. So you can get points in another way than just pulling shards. It's a slightly different tournament. Uh, and this will be hopefully where people have saved up some resources to do it. But yeah, uh, from Friday, there's going to be a two times chance to get legendaries from Sacreds. It goes up to 12%. Just reading here, we're also planning to launch a 10 times chance for a legendary champion from Sacreds. And it just says, um, please note that the duration of the 10 times event will be one day shorter than the overall two times event. What does that mean? Basically, it means that probably on the Sunday, you're not going to have the 10 times chance on this champion. In case people don't want to do it and that's the right thing to do so let me talk you through who they're throwing into the mix this time we have got Borogar the elder this is a really interesting champion honestly so it's one of the new champions he is a smiley fella under there he has spent all his money on his fancy outfit he's going to the ball um yeah cool looking dude actually cool looking dwarf so dwarves are not struggling for champions dwarves have now got one of the best rosters in the game they went from being like where's our champions to by the way we're now the best we are literally the best and i guess that gives you an example of how far power creep has pushed because all of a sudden this faction is just like brimming with quality but borodar is very unique so he's got very good defense good speed good hp so he's quite easy to keep alive hp based champion so the A1 attacks an enemy, 50% goes up to 65% chance of putting an increased defense buff on an ally, only for one turn. It goes up to 100% chance if the attack is a crit. So actually, you could get away with not booking out this A1 if the books land favorably, and it won't really make a lot of difference. He's not going to be your damage dealer, so you don't care about these damage increases. And the percentage chance is irrelevant if he's getting 100% from a crit. So uh, not a bad A1. So the A2 then removes one random debuff from all allies, then places a shield buff on all allies for two turns equal to 20% of this champion's max HP. So you build his HP up high, gives you a good shield, gives you a mini cleanse, three turn cooldown. It's okay. It's not crazy, but it's okay. But this is where he's unique. So he's, he's the only champion in the game currently to have an increased resistance buff. Increased resistance and increased speed. I mean, this dude is going to help you in tons of areas. You know, Doom Tower, how many, how many fights do we need resistance in Doom Tower or would they help? Um, some of your champions want resistance in Hydra for certain teams. But putting the speed and the resistance together is really nice. Honestly, I feel like this is, it is a bit of a game changer. Is he suddenly going to be in every endgame arena team in the world? Maybe not, but he could play in arena. And he could make your champions incredibly difficult to strip if he goes first. So it's like that. Resistance on. Everyone suddenly goes from a 500 resistance to you know, a 750. All of a sudden, a lot of madams are struggling to do their job. They've all got speed going on as well. So, you know, you're kind of taking these pepper shots um, whilst this is up. I, I just feel like this could be a game changer. I've always kind of wanted for there to be alternatives in the arena to the current metas. Um, and I feel like a resistance meta could be fun again. So this dude could be that answer. We'll see. Allies receive 10% less damage from champions whose resistance is lower or equal to, uh, love or equal to theirs. So, you know, everyone's going to be packed with resistance. Straight up, it's a 10% damage decrease to your team. Just like straight up, you're going to take 10% less damage. It's a little bit like a Duchess type buff. Imagine him alongside a Duchess. All of a sudden, the, the passives are stacking up. Um, yeah, it's a really interesting champion, this one. Resistance in all battles aura as well. Uh, so most people are going to be pulling shards if they've got them for the champion chase at the weekend. And if you get that dude, I think he's pretty cool. I think he's a fun champion. 
Very different to what we've seen currently. So I will be going for him and I'll see. Um, 10 times, we know it. 10 times is just not enough. It's not enough anymore. There's so many champions in the game. 10 times almost means nothing unless it's Void. But he's going to be there anyway. Good luck if you're going to pull shards for it. I've been Hell Hades. I will see you later.